Hello, hello. A ver, probando, probando micrófonos. So testing microphones that are okay. Yes, my microphone. And that everything is running. Okay, so we have full team on the disenfranchised, but uh, the misfits, not really, only one. Um, so they've got like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes to get ready. Otherwise, yeah. Um, what else? Well, we're going to talk about the bands. Well, with the bands, I think the game starts from there. Uh, they give you two bands that you can use uh, as a strategy to uh, win. <laughs> so from there, um, you can check uh, what maps it's the opposite team good at and you can decide to ban those maps so they don't do their good tricks. Or if you are not comfortable with some maps, you don't have any idea of those maps, then you ban those maps that, you know, um, then you don't get caught of God. So that's up to the teams to decide what to do and I think it's very important to check first um, and the statistics are all there on the website. You can, if the team has been around for a long time, you can kind of see um, what maps they win and which maps they don't play much, um, things like that. So I believe that this game is for adults <laughs> because it's got a lot of things um, that you know adults love which is the statistics and and to think about it um, and the fact that now they give you two two bands um, that, that you can utilize so um, yeah I think that the game starts why way before when when you know uh, who you are against, then you start um, playing and getting on your team, organizing, you know, like, oh, these, these guys are really good at this map, you know, we should try it. Um, check out the other um, streams and check their play, how, how they position themselves, how do they attack, what sort of team is it, who is in it, because you kind of know who's um, who's there, you know, in the public lobbies, when they're competitive public lobbies, you tend to know the um, the players and then you kind of know what level they're at and, or if they come from another team. You can also check that on the website. The website is an incredible um, thing that they did that um, talks to Discord uh, through bots, I think, and it's really, really good. I really uh, encourage any team to check the statistics. The um, all the information is there for for teams to to organize something, and and it's fun because you you get with your team and you talk about it, and you discuss, and there's more team building that way. You know, there's more. Um, that brotherhood type thing that if they decide in something and it works it's fantastic you know it's then it's team effort and it's, that's what it's all about it's it's a game of teams i'm going to try my headset i don't like it very much using my headset because um, just the, the machine gun is just like and the flashes is just right in my ear and I'm like oh okay so I've got twitch here and like I say I don't know much twitch <laughs> and sometimes I can't get it chat going I don't know how oh yeah I've got it <laughs> so uh, yeah so buggy yes though says hi hey um, and I think 
with the chat, with the Twitch chat, it's um, talking about uh, amongst you. You know, it's you you're watching the game and you've got your pals in another side of the world or in another city or in another um, uh, room, and you are still connected. You know, uh, through the chat and talking about what they did and how they do it. So it's all about you know like. Um, interaction with each other. Uh, English is not my first language. I learned this game in Spanish and I'm very, very comfortable in Spanish with this game. I know the, the areas, you know, where they're going and, and I joke a lot with my uh, Latino friends. Um, I do laugh a lot and I enjoy watching this game, but um, yeah, in English I'm not good. Anyway, I'm gonna, they're gonna start soon because it's now five and four getting ready and I haven't said anything about the, um, the bands. Ah, the bands four. And the bands four, the decent French are Arctic and Suburbia, two small maps. Uh, Suburbia, very old map, everybody knows about it, and Arctic, a new map that um, not many people know, but cool strategies are seen. And for the other two, the Misfits have chosen big maps, Downfall and Quarantine. Quarantine, a nice map. I love Quarantine because of the uh, ref references. There's a lot of references, um, but it, it is a large map. And because of that, so many things, anything can happen there, you know, in Quarantine. And Downfall, I think, Downfall is for the veterans, you know, the, the people that play, been playing this game for a long time. Uh, they know quite well um, down for it. Okay, I, I think it's got the five teams and I think we are ready, so let's go. And let's go to gameplay. Oh, <laughs> let's get out of the lobby. That's how I know that they're all ready and I'm gonna follow the Marsox. The Marsox. Oh, what happened? Well, this gi gives me a good chance to, um, to see um, My microphone for gameplay. I think it's fine. I'm gonna check that my microphone. Yes, I think it's ready. Okay, so you have the um, the app link. It's in the pla in the in the island. I call it the island because there's some um, trees there. And if you see the map on the bottom, the the little map at the right uh, bottom corner, you see the um, the little white dot, and that's where um, these uh, Marsog, which is the soldiers in brown, they're gonna try and reach this uplink, this antenna, and then send the signal really, really fast before they get in shot. Uh, if they kill the other team, uh, they they win, but they don't. Uh, they're not granted an extra point for not sending the antenna. So let's have a look how, with this little map here, you can see how they position the other team and what are they doing. You can see that they are waiting for one to go around. And I think it's this one that it's, um, might be looking at cleaning this area here first, but Playboy, oh my God, what a name. Playboy, creo que es el que habla español, creo que eres tú el mexicano, Playboy, con ese nombre, okay. And I think Playboy missed it just by, because train um, is coming this way and Playboy is checking this area here and I think he missed it and train was going around and that's when you know the map quite well. If you know the map quite well then you know where to yeah, Trent got one, and I think Playboy now knows that um, he's here, so that he is able to go around. And yeah, Playboy is looking for him, for sure he knows it now, it's in the um, blue room. And um, so these players know um, the different noise that, the different sound, sorry, the different sound of each um, gun. So, and, and where they're coming from, where this 
And here is uh, train. It's looking for Playboy and Playboy for sure. It it now. And, yeah, it it. Okay, so now we have um, four and four, and they have drum mags. They have drum mags. Oh, no. Playboy is taking some of the stuff. <laughs> And some valuable equipment. You are uh, only allowed to um, uh, utilities like um, uh, grenades or flashes, and they're very valuable. Okay, so the uplink is in the little plaza here. Panda is on the other side. Wow, okay. I don't see many here in the uplink. Interesting. So there's no one here in the uplink, and Crash Clown is coming in, and I think he's gonna cap, and I'm stuck here. He's um, all covered, and if he puts his tablet down, he can see the, um, the uplink. Panda is coming. And oh yes, this franchise was able to put the uplink. Fantastic. Really, really good. And that's two uh, points for home. And that's what I mean. Um, it's how you're gonna get in and um, and and send the signal. Um, and these are French uh, were in this little corner here, um, thinking that everybody was going to be there um, um, defending. But they were right at the back. Now that's the way they d defend. Um, but yeah, normally there's people in, that, in this corner, um, really close to the uplink. Uh, every team is different, and the beauty about it when I, when I see them play is um, humans <laughs> are unpredictable. And the last Marsoc or the last Volk does amazing things. Um, so each gameplay, you could see that no computer, no AI, it's like that. They're all different, you know. Um, when you play against the AI, it's kind of like, you know, where they're going to spawn or what they're going to do. But with humans, not, not at all. They go fast, they go slow, they, they jump, they... You just don't know. So it is really interesting and um, good players get shot quickly, sometimes have no kills at all and that doesn't mean that they are not good players i never go for the the kill count okay so let's go and gameplay and this is round two of bazaar now we're gonna follow the misfits you're you're gonna lead i don't know what they're saying <laughs> i don't have my headphones so they have spawned differently um, they spawn in the other area, in the other corner, and again they're going to go around. Let's have a look how they're gonna they position themselves. And there are already a few kills, oh my god! And there's one already on the uplane. Who is that boy? I think. Is it? Oh, orale! Just a key, he's gonna put the uplink. En tres segundos, wow, y no te seguí. Vamos, chicos, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Five seconds, you, 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 should, you should put it in five seconds. Very good. Muy bien. I think he speaks Spanish. He's Mexican. But that was really, really good. So it's two and two. That was a, uh, a so it's a way two. That was a really big push, <laughs> quick push. Um, that's another strategy that I've seen uh, with, with teams. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just never know. Um, 
the 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 quick um, attack. If the person that is putting the uplink doesn't reach on time, then uh, then they go to the strategy of going slow and more tactically. But um, this time it works fine. They went really quick and had no time to follow you. Muy bien, chico. <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. El, um, en el chat tenemos a Kitty. Gracias por decirme lo del audio. Siempre estoy bien preocupada por el audio y todos los cast tienen ese problema del audio porque OBS, no sé, siempre hace cosas diferentes con el audio. Entonces, um, qué bueno. Gracias, Katy, por decirme. Tenemos aquí el uplink en el mercadito. So I call it the little market, this one over here. And let's go to gameplay. And this is round three. It's the turn off the decent French. The decent French. Uh, let me tell you that Sister Sweet Life, it's a girl. And she's the captain of the team. Um, I don't know if she's the one that structures all the um, strategies. Being the cap captain, captain doesn't mean that you are um, uh, creating all the strategies. It's mainly um, the uh, the admin. Okay, let's have a look how the other ones have been positioned themselves. And oh my God, where are they? Okay, so sometimes they come all the way here to Kyot to protect, but they, they, they're not. And that's what Sanpai, I think it's doing here, is checking anyone in uh, in Kyot. So he's in Kyot, Trend and Papa Death Blade. I call these the mechanics. You see this, uh, there's a sign, uh, it's the mechanics. So I call them the mechanics. And Papa is looking the behind. There's always people that would like to rush from behind and um, just checking this side. Okay, where are the other ones? Uh, where is he? Oh, how about? Minus one north. Oh, watch out. So I think he got the Mexican. Sweet Life is going through the bazaar, she's past the bazaar now and Senpai staying in Kyot because like I say, sometimes they rush from behind like Panda, I think his Panda is rushing from behind, yes, that's what he's going to do. He realizes they come to the and he might get the two for one, but Senpai was uh, protecting them because yeah, that's what normally they do. Okay, so train is um, this is the little class I call it. Oh no, it's not the little class. It's the mechanics. So he's kind of close to the uplink, but from the back. So the uplink is in here in the little market. And you've got just love digi uh, digital behind the boxes. And now they can cap from the front or from this in inside this little house and there's some smoke and sometimes what smoke does and it's a very very good smoke from crash clown um, it's that because they can't see then they, 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 they start to move the defense starts to move and so he was hidden, and then all of a sudden, and here he is, Senpai, he's putting the uplink. While the other ones are making really him, <laughs> running around. Senpai, five, four, three. Notice that there's only... Oh, I don't know, I don't think they want to kill him. Oh my God! Yeah. Got a little bit confused. And okay. <laughs> it's 
So that's a 3-1, <laughs> a 3-2, but it could have been a 4. Um, this stone French could have won this map. That's what I'm saying. Anything can happen. Humans are very unpredictable, and um, they had, I think, four on the game, and there was only one. Um, there's only one, and when he felt threatened because of the smoke, he just ran, and the adrenaline made him run fast and kill a few of them, and then confusion. And yeah, the other team got can kill. Um, yeah, so you can cap here, but yeah, sometimes if you are too close to the uh, walls, then it's not possible to cap, and then you lose concentration. And yeah, so I understand that it's not. I know the senpai can cap in two seconds, <laughs> but sometimes it's just um, yeah, gotta be right there. And that's the other thing that um, very experienced uh, players have is uh, they know exactly where to sit to cap. Okay, so Lord, Lord is on the chat. Chico, no estás jugando ahora. ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> So I was gonna, I was gonna comment in Spanish because I do prefer commenting in Spanish. But uh, I have to practice in English. I am getting more around the public lobbies and uh, listening to people talk and playing with other uh, players that that are not Latinos. <laughs> but for me, it's so difficult. I really enjoy playing with my community, but I understand that I need to. Um, if I want to cast the girls' team, then it has to be in English. <laughs> I cannot just cast the Latinos. We're only so few Latinos in the in the league. We have. I started with Los Monjes. They were the first team that let me um, cast them. Okay. Let's go and game play. This is round four. And let's go to... We need speed, we've got a problem here. <laughs> we've got a zombie. We've got a zombie with an update that needs to be done. Yeah. Okay, so... I'll go back. So, new update, new stuff. I think that um, if you update it today to the new version of um, Onward, then uh, you have to restart your your quest. Otherwise, you end up like a zombie with no weapon or anything like that. Hopefully, this time the server, the lobby doesn't crash. I don't know if they're gonna make a, they're gonna make a new lobby or what. So as a caster, I have this core uh, with the uh, captains of the team. And if there's anything like time, extra times or whatever, please let me know on the, um, on the chat, on Discord. So then I know what's happening. So I don't know if they're going to make a new lobby. No? No. So I think... Mok Mosker is back. Mm. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> They're all ready. Let's go. And let's go to gameplay. And what was the round four? And it was a misfit. Yes, I think. Fucking damn it. Uh oh. Round reset. No, you gotta restart. Right, -host it. I'm gonna restart. You gotta restart your quest. Hmm. No, well. The misfits are winning all this time. <laughs> What 
to the scoreboard. So yeah, if I cast you like again or any other thing that I'll cast, uh, let me know on Discord if you guys are gonna open a new lobby or, or what. And I don't have ch time now to tell you about the website. Um, in regards of the two teams, uh, I think what I remember is that um, both teams are um, silver, but the Misfits, are, it's a new team, but that doesn't mean that they are new new players. I think they are uh, VRML players, and you can see that on the on if you click on the on their team. Then uh, it shows you the players. You click on the player and it tells you where they've been before, which um, which team they have played, um, and what um, level they are. So they've got M M R match matching rating, <laughs> something like that. And it's a formula that um, averages how many matches you've won and for how many points and then it gives you a rating. And it gives you the rating also for players. So if you play in a good team, you end up with that rating. I have a good rating, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm a terrible player. Okay, let's go. I think they're all ready and gameplay. And round four. Let's have a look at these guys. Are they? No? Yes, maybe? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, whoa! What's his name, Lord? Popping Arno is the misfit. The misfits are the ones that are having problems. Maybe they get another another player, another player into the um, into the match. They have an invisible glitch. Uh, okay, so they have the invisible glitch. Yeah, he has to reset. So they're resetting, and they're out again. I don't know. Should I go? Have a look. Then one, I think they're yeah, okay. Going this way. Where are they gonna go for? No, I think they're okay. Five players or four players? Panda and Moog. Moog. Moogster. So that's how they attack, two and two. And because there's only four, maybe there was one that was going, supposed to be going through the middle. <laughs> okay, so it's going to the mechanics again too. And as you can see, they have to go like in a zigzag. You guys, if you, if you go one behind the other one, I call them the two for one. That means that, um, what's his name over here? Could get both of them in one shot. So, um, yeah, Papa definitely could get them. But now they've crossed into the uh, bazaar and um, and going into this little plaza. And that's Crash Clown in there. And, and you can see there that straight away they check that building and train being here also uh, just checks uh, as soon as they reach that plaza okay so it's moog in this side and robin just not bad. They're in a good position. Minus these two. One. Uh, 
and the kicking of the um, of the tablet. So he's checking that he's the only Marsok, and he's gonna have to go through Sweet Life um, line of fire. She's staying really still, only looking at her line. And there. And she gets it. And also she throws the gun. <laughs> That's what girls do. Okay, so decent French is home one and they're taking They've taken this map, Bazaar, and it, it is their uh, strong map. And being home, they choose uh, the first map, and they chose well. Um, if, you, if you are a home map, you really want to uh, win the first one, the first round. Choose well on your map selection, because that will give you very, uh, Know, motivate you if you win your map on the first round. So the second round is going to be um, the misfits choosing the map. And I think they're going to make a new lobby. Okay. So I'll have to get out of here. of the new update happening or not? It's not happening. What's the new map? What's the second map? Hmm. What's the second map?
Okay, so we're back and this time it's going to be Snow Peak. And Snow Peak was chosen by the Misfits. It is a, it's a large map. It's funny because they um, banned Downfall, but they, uh, they're okay with um, Snow Peak. And the, um, the app link is in the, um, in the box, which is really interesting. I love it there. And they, um, and they defend the box. You can, you can get into the box. You'll see what I mean when, when it shows what I mean by the box. I don't know how you say it in, in um, English, this, um, this place in downfall, but yeah. How's the teams? Are they ready? Oh no! <laughs> Still having problems with um, with the teams of the Misfits. One player. One player. There. That's it. It's not working. Okay, so maybe I'll read the chat. <laughs> Keeps me entertained now that I'm waiting for it. Uh, we need that building cup. Yes, cup. Cup. No way. Oh, win is a win. Nice try. <laughs> so they already seen the, um, the, the playoff of Bazaar and the already won. Like I say, we are six minutes delay and it's really hard to interact with the chat with six minutes delay. It's already like a round has gone past. So Lord, el mexicano, a ver que dice, this is going me, this is going me a 3-3 three, three map for sure. Que dice, I would like to see them on subway cargo. Also, Cynthia, I love your cast. Ah, thank you very much for loving my cast. It's really, really hard in English, but uh, Misfits got to go with cargo or abandoned nine. There you go, they didn't. And they're out. Oh my God, and I'm missing this. Okay. They are out. And this is what I mean about the box. This is the box. I'm with Nagi Wagi. And this is the mass of going through this rabbit hole. Yeah, I have some and I think, oh, all of them are going through the, um, through the rabbit hole. Who's going outside? Anyone's going outside? Playboy. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Playboy, Senpai, on our and play we are new exactly where Senpai is because it, this is a, a typical um, place, a corner and these experienced players are really fast and they start shooting before they turn they, 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 they don't wait, they just shoot at that corner if there's someone there, fine, if they're not, well so this is it oh, what happened? Uh, because I don't have my headphones, I can't <laughs> Hear them but for sure it says can I have a, a smoke and putting the smoke at the back. Interesting. At the back, not at the front. And um yeah, this guy's probably gonna think about coming out. Oh, Lord Nasser, I think it's going to rush him from behind. So like I said, this is very dangerous. This um, so close, but only experienced um, players can manage this of not team killing. I don't know if there's anyone going 
Oh. Four disenfranchised and two misfits. Um, taking it very, very slowly. Interesting that they're looking this way. Ah, it's because they heard Lord and they worry that Lord is going to attack from behind. That's what they worry. In this place, taking the tablet, there you, go, there you go, that's what they they knew. Yeah, that's what they were afraid for him to go around. And this some French wins this one and is um, home one. Yes, let me see. This in French one, yes. And this map was chosen by the misfits, but. Um, because they are martial, they're in a disadvantage. They have to attack, and it's much harder to attack and um, than, than to defend. So if, let's say, that these French are not good at this map, the best thing they can do is just to defend. Defend, defend, don't risk it, and you will win. So... Even if they d have no strategies here to um, attack the, the box, and that's why we call it the box, isn't it? it doesn't look like a box. <laughs> it's like a box. Yeah. And sometimes they attack everything is from the outside. Sometimes, like this time, it was everything from the inside. It's so interesting. So many ways that you can get in. And one of the um, first time I saw Molotovs being used in this area to defend and they threw Molotovs here and they just didn't know what was going on you know this fire made them stop and and it's very controllable here very easy to use Molotov I encourage anyone to defend this box with um, Molotovs or C4s um, okay let's go Gameplay, and this is round two. And this time is the decent French. Oh, and I don't have sister. What happened, sister? On the stars? Where are you? <laughs> when? Vamos con Lord. Okay, so there's one that is coming out of the box to check uh, anyone <laughs> that tries to attack and is Playboy Chico. Oof, and he is a very good shooter, very good shooter, this guy. Wow, going around. So they knew that maybe there would be one ar going around this area. And, but uh, Playboy did bring one down and um, now it's four against three. Let's have a look here. Is it gonna be an outside attack? This is interesting, this little valley over here. Um, Panda, for instance, I think he's got view from the inside to this valley. So sometimes he's, he's crossing here because he's really low. So he's uh, using the, um, the ground, the terrain to cross. So if, if you ever need to cross, go all around or use smoke or something. Senpai coming in to um, assist. For sure Senpai knows that Papa is there. <laughs> Checking the back, just in case. Nice, very, very nice work of um, 
of the disinfectant. There it goes, train. Coming in. Oh, what's happening here? And he's out. Oh my god. There's only one. What's gonna happen? That's so interesting. So they're all out. There's only one in here. And they are not gonna kill him. I think they're just gonna try and cap. And if you know where is the uplink, come on, come on, they just, um, oh, maybe it's a bit too far from the uplink. It's a bit too far. The last ball can do, oh, you got it. Fine. Very, very good. And that's, um, two points. Wow, that was really, really good. I love that. I love that the decent French are going with the um, strategy of capping, not eliminating. They're one point to win the map in less than, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes of gameplay. So um, if, if you go for what the game is about, it's sending the signal, it's not eliminating. You have to send the signal um, while the uh, uplink is still available to save all these people. <laughs> so if you eliminate everyone, then you don't send the signal and save the world. So um, yeah, I I, I just love it. I love when uh, teams play like that with strategies. It takes a long time. It's not easy. It's not easy to play with strategies. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But you have to keep going and do it, do it again and do it again, and you'll get better. Three, zero. been able to do the replays. I should try some replays. Are they out now? Yes. Let's go. Gameplay and this is round three. Go that way if you want to. You guys can go that way if you want to. I'm gonna see what I can do bro. This is their map. But they're only four. Not easy. Not easy to play with only four players. Especially when you are attacking. Now we've got the antenna on the um, on the tunnel. I love those two positions: the tunnel and the um, and the box. They're all inside. They're not coming out. at this on French. Let's follow the ones that are going inside. They were, oh. Who's going inside? So they have to cross this, this tunnel. And again, they knew where he was because that's the typical um, side. That's very, very good. One is looking the other way just in case they, um, they turn around. And I think the other ones at the back are um, waiting. What a good shooter. Where are the other guys? I think coming in to help Playboy. Oh my god. Just stay there, Playboy. Oh no. Good use of. Um, Equipment, grenade, yes. When you can't reach them and he's a good shooter, just get a grenade. Oh my god, the Marsa, oh my god. Oh my god. You did them all. You did. And you could have put the uplink. It would have been two points. A little bit more of um, 
to white one. A little bit more communication of where everybody was and they could have capped and there would have been an extra point. But very, very good. <laughs> Such a good shooter. El Mexicano, wow, muy bien. Muy bien, um, Playboy. A ver si te cambias el nombre a uno en español para que lo pueda decir bien yo. Uh, the names, it's the same thing. Casters in um, English speaking casters cannot say the names, the Spanish names. And, um, and we, the Spanish, cannot say the English names correct. It's funny. <laughs> Are they out? Yes, they're out. No time to think about it. You can use that m those minutes to um, to think about your game. I'm going to go around. You've got two minutes in the lobby to refresh of what what you're going to do. Now, if the decent French cap, it would be five points, which they all count. They all count up the ladder. Going out, then fine. Oh my god, I'm lost here. I better go to the uplink. <laughs> there you see um, digital. How are they positioned? Right at the back. Okay, over here. So this is the uh, entrance if you're coming from the garage. But they're not coming from the garage. They are coming from the outside. Nice. And Lord, it's already there. Nice. At, at a certain time, they go in and Lord, it's covered in um, smoke. Playboy doesn't see him. He's still trying to put the uplink. Put the tablet down. A little bit down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Very good move. Very, very good move. One to one. Oh my God. This is like a duel of gentlemen. The fastest will win. And the disadvantage is on Papa Death. Papa Death. Because he has to move. Although um, the other guy is very exposed. He has to move closer to the uplink. And maybe that's what he's waiting. Wow. That was really good. Really good to see French. Uh, it's home one. Wow. Okay, so the map that was chosen by the Misfits was taken by the decent French. And now, the, for the last map, they're gonna, the decent French are gonna choose the last map. They've already won the match, two, two out of three, but uh, they still have to keep playing because every point counts. So they still have to play the third map. And um, the Misfits could win by a lot. Let's see what what map they choose. So they're gonna make a new lobby, so we're gonna go to intermission.
And we're back for the last map. It's going to be abandoned. Fantastic. And it's the decent French that are attacking. Oh, decent French. Oh, so hard to write this. This decent French. This fist is easy to write. And we have only four on the this this in French um, side. And son of Chad on the on the misfits. Playboy still on. Panda loving digital Robin and Son of Chad. So very good. I really enjoyed watching the different, but I couldn't see sister, sweet sister. Ah, there she is. Now she's in. Sister, sweet life. Good. Let's have a look at something. I mean, even if um, you are practicing this map, it's good. Practice and they're out. They're out. Let's go to gameplay and this is Round one, abandon. Kiss and friends, sister already not learning the code. And the uplink is the machine room, they call it. machinery room and it's a perfect line for the distant French maybe we're gonna see some people going to the beach minus one sniper gone hey boy oh no they're not inside they're not oh From the third story gets um, a playboy. I think there's a big, big advantage when you can take up the... Um, oh, can't, I can't fly that way. I have to move around. So if you take the third story, um, yes, you have very, very good um, view. Oh, is there anyone going to... Um, Save Senpai. I love teams that look after their teammates and reward them. I was not just going for the uplink. and goes back to what the original plan was so she's not following she was already there but I think uh, the strategy was going around so she still goes around and assist uh, crash and still be having this line like this of attacking in a straight line if we have Papa? Back? 
well, we had Papa at the back. Now it's two against three. And the misfits are all inside now. Sister going all around using this map. Is it using the terrain to cover herself? And I'm sure she's going to be looking at her tablet to see where the other Marsok is before she can make a move. Because that's not bad at all. One from one side and the other one from the other starts making a noise and the defense will think that it's, it's going from the front and then sister can attack from the back. But if she kills son of Chad, then she will, they will see, hear her position. hear what they said but for sure it was a plan the boys inside are moving a lot inside the um, the machinery room and that can cause um, team kills Okay, now it's two and two. We know that there's one inside from this side. And they might not know about Senpai. He hasn't um, sh uh, shown the position, but Panda did get her from the back. Now it's just Senpai. The last Marshal gives everything. So now maybe they're not gonna be able to cap, but Senpai can get in there quickly and it's really quick knowing all the corners and son of Chad gets it yeah so inside here it is um, very difficult the the defense can hide quite well in the dark corners so it's the mist fist away is one in the map of abandon now it's the turn of the mist fist to um, try and cap So root, root, Cindy R. Merci beaucoup pour le cas, Cynthia. So you speak French. I wish I could speak French and cast in French. I'll be casting War Tag. I'll be casting Nautic Tactic and Le, ba le Bastard. I'll be casting three teams. So the, um, the French teams, the French Canadian teams have the same thing as us, the language. Okay, let's go. And it's round two, abandon. And we're gonna follow the misfits. Now, I uh, think this is kind of like a quick spawn just behind the, uh, the apartments. They can reach quickly the, um, the machinery room. They got the fragger, they call, I think. <laughs> Lord was gonna go and kill everyone from behind. Oh no. Oh. Senpai, I'm confused here. Who killed who? So Crash Clown. All looking at, at this side because they knew it was um, 
a quick spawn and they have two injured on this side and the other guys are going around and they're a bit too far to come and save their teammates oh no too far okay, um Love Digital gets into the three story. But I don't think he is going to be able to see anyone. They're all inside. Oh, uh, maybe. I think Death. Papa Death, I think, is outside. Only if he moves, you'll be able to see him. Because that's really far. Maybe Panda is going to go and save. One playboy, maybe, maybe. Would you save him? He's a good shooter. Yeah, look, not far. Using the terrain. If you use the terrain, if you know the map quite well, you know uh, you can run literally, and they won't see you if you know. Uh, which buildings they you, you, you can pop. So I think it will be Crash Clown. Crash Clown, the one that can see you. Ooh. That's good. You'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Went through all the trouble of saving. Private Ryan. Now he's gonna try and, and do Chad. Digital. He's gonna try and rescue Chad. But I think Crash Clown. Crash Clown's got all this area covered. So they know he's there, it's just that he's not moving. He's hiding, um, camouflaging with this thing, which is dark. Yes, and as soon as a little head pops out, you get shot. So it's two and two. Oh no, trying to go for a run, but Papa was on this side. Now, son of Chad. Knows that the the shots came from here. Use the uh, smoke. Very very good. Very good. Not trying to cross that way, but knowing that there's um, a door here. But sister is checking this door, and he doesn't know because so many corners. Oh wow, he does know that she was right there. Wow, what an amazing. But that was good. That was really good. So it's one and one. So it's home one. Decent French um, defended quite well the, um, the mechanics. <laughs> Very good. And the uplink now is the water tanks or La Bardita? Is it? So this is really funny with La Bardita. So in here, I, I still remember when um, we first played this map and we didn't have any references and, and we were saying, ah, oh, La Bardita. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the wall. Okay, let's go. Gameplay. They're not taking the time to think about it. Interesting. Okay. But there you go. So the uplink is in the middle. And it's they spawn right in front of each other. 
behind the um, three-story buildings for sure one is going to go through the three stories and the other ones no one is going through the um, to the apartment it's just going for the uh, for the kill they going for the kill Playboy going from behind he can hear them I think I don't know he's an attacker <laughs> so sometimes defense goes and attacks but there's a risk because Lord is already checking that side oh my god and he gets the three for one he gets a three for one okay you can make your click now <laughs> and that's uh, a way one <laughs> It worked this time, but my God, my, you know, Lord could have killed you, but that was fast for um, Playboy. Muy bien, chico. Tres, tres por uno te aventaste. Muy bien. Hey, Linkala. Hi, Cynthia. I hope your cast is going well. Yes. Well, like I say, I'm casting currently, I'm casting more for the VRML because now I have a computer that can run the assets. The assets are fantastic for, for in OBS. Okay, let's go. And gameplay, this is round four. So I am giving all the assets by the VRML. Um, all these little gadgets and beautiful animations um, they did it themselves out of you know goodwill and they're fantastic they make casters really really easy um, so eventually I think the other leagues will have things like this but this is an incredible work they do and uh, now I can run the assets and I can cast a little bit more okay so what's happening here Son of Chad coming in here. So it, it was the same spawn like in front of each other. And so where is Playboy? Let's have a look at Playboy. It's gone. Oh no. Oh no. I think they rushed it a little bit. Robbie and Love Digital Bird. How is it gonna pass Papa? Oh, who's going around? There's one that is going around and it's Lord. So Lord wants to do what um, um, Playboy did. So he heard some footsteps. Check that is not one of theirs. And now there's only one. Lord wants to get revenge for being hit from behind. <laughs> okay, so love digital. That's the only Marsock. And he knows that there's one in um, three stories. He has to eliminate the one in three stories, otherwise he can't move. Will be short. Here comes Lord. So they've got four. So that's why they can um, risk having um, one. Oh, and that was uh, the one from the um, three stories. And this in French, that is one. So two and two. 
Yeah, so I never put up um, the kill count because I don't think that um, the kill count means, means anything. It's the team that wins. Um, sometimes just like um, Playboy did it, you know, he shoot all of them or three at the back. That doesn't mean um, it, it may have been a team effort. I don't know. Maybe they decided, you know, you're going to rush from behind and yeah. But sometimes the rush doesn't work out because the other team is um, checking behind. So I, I think that when they get a point or two points, it's teamwork. Um, if they count on kills, then it's a uh, gun game. Okay, let's go. And this is round five for a long time. It's the this in French. Trying to reach the uplink. The uplink is at the apartment. Playboy all the way from there. Lord using the terrain and sent by really, really fast. Tries to reach this uh, garage but doesn't make it. Um, I think the uplink is a bit far for the defense to reach. They have to run have to run. Now they are defending. Now they're positioned to defend. Yes. It's kind of like in the middle. Whoever runs the fastest. So we have three defenders and two. Or maybe three because Papa is going to save. Oh no. No, it's two. <laughs> One and a half because he's injured. Okay, so we have only one, and they know he's here. So for sure, Panda or Playboy is going to get him. Now, Playboy knows. Flash. And Playboy gets him. So that's um, very good defense on the um, misfits like I say um, in, this, in this map when the uplink is there in the middle in the garage or in the um, apartments both teams spawn right at the ends so they have to run it's really hard so even in assault it's really hard to defend you have to run to get to the uplink Really long, really long match. Okay, she has to make noise. No way, what's going on? Yes, two for one. <laughs> okay, sister did a major help for Saint Pi for them to push up. So I think they're taking the time now to think about it. Or maybe not. Yep. It's the Disney French talking about it. You've got a map there. If you put your your defense where you think you're gonna be and you already know how the other team plays. What's the game style? The misfits are fast, very fast. You've got to change to, you know, the young. Okay, let's go. Gameplay, and this is round six. The misfits. Oh no. Oh no, they have to run. And on the way, they have to look for. The defense. 
the fence also is going to be running, trying to use the terrain to cover themselves, trying to reach a high point. Uh, who's going for the high point? Crash is going for the high point. Crash is getting to the high point. Oh no. And it reaches the three story. And I think it's not gonna come out until. Yes. We go a little bit more. So I love digital knows that there's one in there. He might try to um, go inside through the stairs. Oh, and very, very nice smoke. Very nice smoke. Uh, Senpai didn't see Chad co coming in here. And Chad is already here. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, let me boost it. Love digital. Oh. There's only one. Robin. One on one, but Papa is giving all this information that is needed. No. Oh. And by confirming that kill also gives out the um, the position. One-on-one, one-on-one. On one. If Robin kills um, Senpai, they win the map. Three minutes, plenty of time to search every little single angle and that Papa might bleed out and then they won't have eyes. Senpai has view to the uplink but just a little bit. There, there is some area that we cannot see be because of the um, bardita, the, the, the walls. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, oh, it's just about, okay, so this is the last one and um, whoever um, defends or it could be the decent, decent French to cap and there will be two points. So it's a white one, no, home one. Three and three, yeah. So they're taking all the rounds. This is the last round. This for sure is being the longest. <laughs> it's like half an hour. <gasps> wow. It is a nice map, abandoned. If you play it on PC, you actually can see the um, the, the breathing, like it's so cold that you, you see the mist, you know, like it's, it's really good. And you see the eyes, and it's really good to play it on, on PC. They're getting better with the, with the maps, downpour. The last map is fantastic for assault. Okay, let's go, gameplay and Round seven. If anyone tries to get this in French. To cap or not to cap. Cap, you get two points. The uplink is in the garage. And the defense has to run to get there. 
And I think they already get got the um, three story. I can see some laces from the three story. Playboy already making his rounds. Again, using the terrain. Oh, doesn't he kill? I think Papa is gonna finish him. Or oh, oh. He's gonna save him. And we've only got two. But they're close to the uplink. And I think that smoke did so much. And there's the last one sent by against four. And one in the uh, three story. Senpai checking that he is the last Marsok, but you never know. You never know. And Love Digital is not quite on the three story, she's on the second level. Senpai has a lot of time. It's got nearly four minutes. And I think he knows that it's on the second level, not, not the uh, third level. Again, the rain to cover himself. And what was that? Anyway, so the misfits win uh, abandon. It's a white one. And that's it for me. That was a long <laughs> map. <laughs> So thank you. Um, tomorrow I'll be um, streaming another match, which there's a girl in it. And also on Sunday, I'll be streaming another match with a team that also there's a girl in it. Okay, so have a look. Um, so anyway, thank you and goodbye.